and gentlemen, welcome to the Orange Blossom Opry. At this time, we ask that you please silence all cell phones and pagers. And as you know, flash photography and video recording is not allowed. We also ask that you please remove all caps and hats so the people behind and around you can enjoy the view. Gum chewing is not allowed. And please don't stick it under your seat. We're happy that you've joined us here at the Orange Boss Mopperty and ask that you please take all refuse with you to the nearest exit as you leave the auditorium. And now, ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Houston, Houston means that I'm one day closer to you. Oh, honey, Houston, Houston means the last day of tour was through. Oh, honey, you and God in heaven above know I love what I do for a living. I do. Oh, you. Houston, Houston means that I'm one day closer to you. Oh, Brother Chris. Singing at the world's biggest rodeo, show us a big time for me and the guys. All the when I'm away from you, honey, time almost never flies. Sleeping all alone in the holiday hotel, show me the cowboy blues. Here I am in Houston and I'm one day closer to you. Houston, Houston means that I'm one day closer to you. Oh, honey, Houston, Houston means the last day of tour we're through. I do for a living, I do. Oh, Houston, Houston means that I'm one day closer to you. Oh, Dougie. Houston, Houston means that I'm one day closer to you. Y'all are late. Oh, honey, Houston, Houston means the last day of tour we're through. Oh, honey, you and God in heaven above know I love what I do for a living, I do. Oh, Houston, Houston means that I'm one day closer to you. That's right. All right. <laughs> Howdy, everybody. How y'all getting along today? All right, man. Y'all sound like you're in a good mood. Uh, we're so uh, we're glad you're here, man. We've got a, uh, a variety show for you today because, uh, of course. Uh, the incredible Macy Mack is here. <clears throat> also, we, uh, we have a couple of other guests that are going to come out on our part of the show. So uh, we're going to move right along and get some other guys up here to sing because uh, you all get tired of hearing us all the time. Uh, let's see. How many people are at the Orange Blossom Opry for the first time? Never been here before? Right in the front seat? All right. Where have you been? In the villages? It's not that far a drive. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, we are the Orange Blossom Opera Band. Welcome to everybody that's here. I'll tell you a couple quick things that are going on. Uh, today is Saturday, which usually we have a featured artist on Saturday. This week is Macy Mack. Uh, next week, is George next week? Is, oh, 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 yeah. We've got a, uh, well, we got a real clunker next week. No, actually, uh, we've if, got if, a, if I show up. Yeah. Well, you have to show up because the show's almost sold out. Kevin, uh, next Saturday, will be doing the music of Creedence Clearwater Revival. And that rascal has uh, also almost uh, sold the place out. So uh, 
that ought to, uh, you know, put a wrinkle in your diaper or something. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, yeah, that's what goes on Saturdays. On Thursdays, we have what's called our showcase here. And if any of you folks, new folks, are interested in being on stage and playing with the band, talk to somebody here. They'll tell you how to get on that. That's on Thursdays. And then on Friday, we have a thing called Friday Night Live. And that's just our band. Hey, hey. <laughs> she knew better than that. <laughs> she yeah. knows better. Look at yeah, me. She's yeah. not the first girl to blow me off. Anyway. <laughs> happens. Uh, anyway, uh, and on Friday night, it's just our band, Friday Night Live, and we'd like to invite you to come out and see us because it's just us clowning around. And, and uh, God bless all you people for coming because those Friday Night Lives have been selling out as well. So uh, keep that going. Anyway, uh, welcome to everybody. I think I covered just about everything. Uh, we, we've got some other specials going on, a bunch of shows going on here at the Orange Blossom Opry. So uh, check out on the break some tickets for shows if you're interested in coming. I want to take a second, introduce everybody, and then we're going to roll along. Uh, I've already forgotten his name. Hold on. George. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen from the great state of Illinois, yeah. the star of the show next Saturday night, ladies and gentlemen, Weirsdale, Tennessee. Oh, I mean, Florida. <laughs> Weirsdale, Florida proudly presents. I lived in Nashville for a long time. Weirsdale, Florida proudly presents the pride of Illinois. The, uh, yeah, that too. Say hello to Kevin Kingston. <laughs> I get it out, doggone it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this uh, gentleman back here is one of the finest musicians I've ever se shared the stage with. He's from the great state of Iowa, and folks around here know him as uh, this word. Uh, one, two, three. Hey, That's it. Hey, Doug Stock. I think it's catching on. Those damn cowbells. All right. Hey, so bring them next Friday when you show up, folks, because we'll do the cowbell song. We didn't do it last night, and I got email. People sending me email at 1 o'clock in the morning. What the hell is you? Okay, we'll play the cowbell song. Uh, Doug Stock, everybody. <laughs> Our drummer back here hails from the great state of Florida, the only Floridian in the band. Let me tell you that. And uh, he hails from Plant City, Florida. Say hello to my pal. That's Todd Bowers, everybody. The gentleman over here uh, on my uh, right is from the great state of Georgia. He plays a fine guitar, also sings a fine song. Say hello to Mickey Adams. <laughs> Our piano player and his brand new piano. How's it going? With, yeah, look at that. Piano. He got a brand new piano and he wears it out. Nobody plays any finer than him. He also sings a great song. Say hello to Chris Cockburn, everyone. <laughs> Our sound man this evening is our sound man every evening, does an incredible job. He, too, is from the great state of Tennessee, known the boy about 30 years. Say hello to Nathan Smith, everyone. I can't see who's up there. Karen up there? Karen's up there. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, she does all the video stuff. Are we live on Facebook? We are? All right, so all you folks know that we're on Facebook. Uh, uh, are, you two are together? Okay, because I was going to say, if you're not supposed to be with her, it would be a good time to move because you're live on Facebook. I'm just... I'm just, I'm just trying to look out for you, man. That's all. Tell them to tell you, if you're with somebody you shouldn't be with, you know, you're live on Facebook, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, say hello to Karen up there. That's her. <laughs> Fast Eddie does all the lights in this place. He does an incredible job. There he is right there. Looking a little like Ben Franklin, but that is him. <laughs> uh, right there. Say hello I to Fast Kevin. Eddie. And uh, Roger and Heather Byers are here. They are the owner of this fine place. And if not for them... We wouldn't do anything. Also, if you take just a second and uh, right in the middle of the aisle, say hello to the, Miss, the late family, Mr. and Mrs. Late. There they are. They don't like that. All right. Anyway, we're going to play a couple of songs. we got a couple of special guests. We better get going. Hey, ho. You know what? Todd Bowers never makes very many mistakes, so we just got a little excited. Because we're going to do this exactly like the record, right? You ready there, Gramps? you got to be Gramps. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> you see that mountain over there? <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to climb her mountain. Like Grandma, Grandpa used 
used to play Then I'll float on down the river To a cage and hide away Drift away like Tom Sawyer Ride a rap with old Huck Finn Take a nap like Rip Van Winkle Daydreaming again Like grandma and grandpa used to play And I'll float on down the river To a cage and hide away Oh, Mickey now Just be in nature's friend Climb a long tall hickory Bend it over skinny cats Playing baseball with sure rocks Using sawmill slats for bats Play some back home, come on music That comes from the heart Play something with lots of feeling Cause that's where music has to start Oh, play me some mountain music Like Grandma and Grandpa used to play Doug Stock on the fiddle, everybody. All right, well, one of the guys that's going to be here this summer is a guy called Ty, uh, named Ty Herndon. Uh, you worked for Ty for a long time, right? A long time, yeah. Yeah, how long did you work for Ty? Uh, on and off, about 20 years. You remember any of those songs? <laughs> one person has heard yeah, of Ty one Herndon. One person is awesome. uh, like to dig in that. Yeah. All right, well, let's uh, play a Ty Herndon song. You want to? You want to? Let's do it. Die for 
We have a bunch of guests uh, that showed up today, and uh, one of these guys is a, a buddy of ours. I think I need a haircut. <laughs> anyway, uh, hey Nathan, will you be able to transfer my mix uh, back there? Because there's no reason for me to stay up here. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, where's uh, Eli? We've got a buddy named Eli Rogers that used to uh, come along and used to sing. And Eli has, uh, has joined Joined the dark, not the dark side, but he's, uh, he, left side. he left the dark side and uh, he is currently in the uh, police academy, everybody. So give a, uh, <laughs> say hello to Eli Rogers. How are y'all? Man, it's so good to be back at the Orange Blossom Opry. You don't know how much of a tease it is to sit there at the house and, and watch it live and not be able to come down here because of schedule. How about some, what are we doing, Merle Haggard first? Yeah, we'll How about some Merle Haggard? First thing I remember knowing was a lonesome whistle blowing and a youngin's dream of growing up to ride. On a freight train leaving town Not knowing where I'm bound And no one can change my mind But mama tried One and only rebel child From a family meek and mild My mama seemed to know what lay in store Despite all my Sunday learning Towards the bad I kept on turning Till mama couldn't hold me anymore what I do, y'all? I turned 21 in prison, doing life without parole. No one could steer me right. But mama tried, mama tried, mama tried to raise me better. But her pleading I denied. That leaves only me to blame, because mama tried. So left my mom a heavy load She tried so very hard to fill his shoes Working hours without rest Wanted me to have the best She tried to raise me right, but I refused 
I turned 21 in prison, doing life without parole. No one could steer me right, but Mama tried, Mama tried, Mama tried to raise me better. But her pleading I denied, that leaves only me to blame, cause Mama tried. Let's do the chorus one more time. 21 in prison, doing life without parole. But mama tried, mama tried, mama tried to raise me better But her pleading I denied That leaves only me to blame cause mama tried Orange Blossom Opry Band everybody Thank you. On this same exact stage uh, a couple, of, uh, I don't know if it's been quite a year yet. Lori Morgan came down here, and uh, she put on one heck of a show. And uh, Bobby told a lie that night because before she came on, uh, she said he said that he was the luckiest guy on stage. But little did he know that she had asked me to sing on stage with her. Not sure why. So I was actually the luckiest guy on the <laughs> stage that night. But talk about Nervous as a Cat, I was singing her late husband's song, so you could only imagine. Here it is, called Don't Close Your Eyes. I know you loved him long time ago And even now in my arms You still want him, I know But darling, this time Let your memories die Don't close your eyes Don't close your eyes Let it be me Don't pretend it's him In some fantasy Darling, just once Let yesterday go Yesterday go You'll find more love Than you've ever known Just hold me tight When you love me tonight And don't close your eyes Don't close your eyes Let it be me Don't pretend it's 
darling, just once, let yesterday go, and you'll find more love than you've ever known. Just hold me tight when you love me tonight, and don't close your time when you love me tonight and don't you close your eyes thank you so much i'm eli rogers eli rogers everybody yes sir all right good job great job all right, we have another guest for you, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up, uh, let's see. Now, Saturday's your show, right? And, and I'm busy Sunday. I got, yeah, something going on Sunday. And then uh, the, is it the next week that George will be here? George okay. He's here for your honeymoon. He's here for my honeymoon. He's a little late. Uh, anyway, on the 27th of, uh, what month is this? Yeah, October. On the 27th uh, uh, of May, uh, he will be here. George Trillinger will be here. And if you've not uh, met George Trillinger, ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to George Trillinger. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to George Trillinger. <laughs> Where you been, George? I've seen you on Facebook. You've been in Canada. You've been everywhere. Oh, I, I have a good time traveling around. I've got more... Frequent flyer miles and Ripley would believe. <laughs> How's everybody? Come on. <laughs> We're going to have us a good time. Thank you, Roger and Heather and everybody for, for uh, letting me get up here and do my thing. How about it one more time for Eli Rogers? Wasn't that, a, wasn't that great? And how about a big hand for something we don't have enough of nowadays? I'm talking about real live musicians playing real live instruments. <laughs> Bobby Randall, the Orange Blossom Opry Band, the best in the land. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Not enough live music in the world today. But boy, there's a lot of karaoke. <laughs> karaoke. That's Japanese for <laughs> this is going to suck. Now, <laughs> we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> That's a musician's joke. Musicians love that joke. All right. Well, we do a lot in our show coming up on Saturday, two weeks from tonight, Saturday, May 27th, right here at the OBO. We got a little bit of everything for everybody. Now, a lot of people know that I travel around the world, around the country, with a group called the Fab Four, doing the Beatles. And I am not one of the Beatles. I'll give you three guesses who I do. <laughs> That's right, I heard it. Yeah, Richard Nixon. Say, all the young, all the young people. <laughs> all the young people come up and say, oh, Richard Nixon. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but I know one thing. Thanks to the last two presidential elections, I'm not looking so bad anymore. <laughs> See, that's the politically correct way I have to do it in the show, because yeah. all, all, all the guys I work with are Bernie guys. I used to say, thanks, <laughs> thanks to Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden, I'm not looking so bad anymore. <laughs> but we do a little bit of everything in the show. Let's do a little Hank Williams. All right, everybody, come on. I said, hey, good looking. What is it? How's about cooking something up with me? Hey, sweet baby. Don't you think, baby, we could find ourselves a brand new recipe? I got a hot rod board and a two dollar bill. Soda pop in the dance in the street. If you wanna have fun, come along with me. Come on, hey, good looking. Let me hear it. How's 
Mama's about cooking something up with me. Let's play it now. Soda pop in the dancing is free. If you wanna have fun, come along with me. Come on, hey, good looking. Come on. How's about cooking something up? How's about cooking something up? How's about cooking something up with me? I want these people down here to know that the 11.30 show is going to be even better. <laughs> got guys right down here. We got my friend. Turn the house lights up. What you let my friend right here. Give me that look. Sitting there like this here. <laughs> I didn't like you in the 50s, and by God, I don't like you now. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? You all right? Where are you from, sir? Any idea? <laughs> Give it a shot. Where are you from? Is, is this the wife or are you on a business trip? <laughs> what is this? It's like a bad ventriloquist act, ain't it? How are you, honey? How long have you kids been married? 51 years in July. Yeah! Let's hear it. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Hey, that reminds me. Tonight's show is brought to you by Viagra. <laughs> hey, do you know why Viagra is just like a day at Walt Disney World? Because you wait an hour and a half for a two-minute ride. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this, is, this is just... A part of the hilarity. If you show up here two weeks from tonight, May 27th, get your tickets. We got an intermission coming up here in just a little bit. I got a couple more things to do. Are you having fun? Yeah. You're, you're having a good time? This is good. <laughs> These people over here are having a great time. Right, gang? Yeah. These people here don't care about nothing. Right down here. <laughs> How are we doing, kids? If there's time, we're going to join hands and try to contact the living. It's going to be nice. <laughs> now... All right, well, I have a lot of fun. As you can tell, I have, I'm a fun guy. I'm a fun guy, right? Fun guy. If you see me out on the I'm fun. Fun. If you see me out in the lobby on the break, you come right up. I'm, I'm a fun guy. A fun don't be shy. Don't, don't be nervous. You just come right up and say, hi, what are you drinking? Please, come right up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who's drinking tonight? Oh, that's great. 12, 12 people. Well, I know one person. How are you doing, honey? Where are you from? Delaware. Hey, we got a song for Delaware. Here we go. A beautiful song for the beautiful state of Delaware. Oklahoma, where the wind goes sweeping down the plain. All right. Doesn't matter where you're from. Doesn't matter. We got a song. Like this, my friend over here. Where are you from, sir? Indiana. Indiana. <laughs> Oklahoma. All right, that's all right. Now. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I just want to say, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow is Mother's Day. All the mothers, that, and I'm very happy to have my mom with me tonight for all the way from Deland, Florida. Give us a wave, Mom. There she is. 
And if you see her in the lobby at the intermission, she'll tell you this story. Tomorrow is also my birthday. And uh, many, many years ago, won't tell you how many. Okay, <laughs> 63. Now, uh, I was, I was going to be born on Friday the 13th. But I was born on Saturday the 14th. And that Sunday, I made her a mother just in time for Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day, Mom. I love you. Thank you for all you do. Lives over there in Deland, Deland, Florida, where the fun never starts. <laughs> Deland, Florida, where senior citizens bring their parents to have a little fun. <laughs> and we're pretty close to the villages here, aren't we, guys? Ah, yes, the villages, where none of the women can get pregnant. <laughs> and all of the men look pregnant. <laughs> hip, hip! Hooray! That's right. <laughs> oh, my God. I've been, <laughs> been out there to the villages. <laughs> yes, the villages, ladies and gentlemen, where if you listen very carefully on a Friday night, you'll hear, does... Does penicillin really clear that up? <laughs> yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, the villages. <laughs> well, I got my start, believe it or not, 40 years ago. On May 5th, 1983, we started a little show in Las Vegas. And uh, they said, it, the, the reviews came out and they said, it's a cute little show, it should last about a month. <laughs> it went on to be the longest running show in Las Vegas history, still running today. And uh, I'm not gonna tell you which character that I did in the show, but I will show it to you. And get ready, when I turn around, I'm gonna make a incredible metamorphosis, ladies and gentlemen. And when I turn around, you people go nuts. Here we go. <laughs> Drum roll, please. Here we go. And now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> Rod Stewart, thank you very much. Girl, I want you, Peggy Sue. Well, I love you, Peggy Sue. Oh, how my heart yearns for you, oh, Peggy. Let me hear it. I love you, gal. Yes, I want you, Peggy Sue. Peggy Sue. Peggy Sue, pretty, 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 pretty Peggy Sue, oh Peggy, come on, ooh, all right, I love you gal, I want you Peggy Sue, here's how we did it in 1957. A Peggy Sue, a pretty, 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 pretty Peggy Sue. Oh, Peggy, come on, gang. <laughs> well, I love you, girl. I want you with Peggy Sue. Well, I need you, gal. Yes, I love you, Peggy Sue. Well, I need you, girl. I love you, Peggy Sue. Woo! Thank you so much. Being here with you tonight, this is just like a dream come true for me. 
Sure is. Because ever since I was a little kid, all I ever wanted to do was play rock and roll music and dress up like a geek. I know a lot of you are looking up here, you see the greasy hair, the big black glasses. I look like a male model for Kmart. <laughs> People come up to me after the show, they always say the same thing. Boy, you really look like Ed Sullivan. <laughs> and I wanna go home and friggin' hang myself. <laughs> I have an 18 year old son, like a lot of you people who have children. He doesn't believe a word I say. I'll tell you, I said, uh, said to him the other day, that cell phone you have, do you have your face buried in 22 hours a day? Has more technology in it than the first three missions to the moon. It's the truth, he doesn't believe me. Here's another one he doesn't believe. <clears throat> when daddy was a boy, there were only four channels on TV. And today, ladies, over 150 cable channels. How many, how many nights is, is your husband sitting in that recliner with a remote control going, God, there's nothing on TV. <laughs> when I was a kid, great television. Anybody that had a guitar on TV, I was right there watching. Wasn't I, Mom? Intently. And after all, Glenn Campbell had a show. Jim Stafford had a show. Buck and Roy had Hee Haw. Bobby Goldsboro, Mac Davis, John Denver, all had guitars, all were great. But there was one guy, one guy, ladies and gentlemen, he had black hair, dressed in black, played a black guitar. Who am I talking about? No, it was Dracula. <laughs> no, it was Johnny Cash. Do we have any Johnny Cash fans here tonight? Oh, yes. One of my favorite. My favorite part of that show, every week, he'd come out and have great guests, do great songs. My favorite part, every night he'd come out looking cool, swinging that guitar. He'd look steely-eyed into that camera. He'd always say, hello, I'm Johnny Cash. <laughs> Remember? And the audience, <laughs> the audience would just go nuts. <clears throat> let's, let's give that a try here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. Sounds like Mr. Ed, don't it? Wilbur, you bought your one. Mm -hmm. I keep a close watch on this heart of mine. I keep my pants up with a piece of twine. Because you're mine. Please pull the twine. Come on. Up. Well, I hear the train a coming. Running round the bend I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when I'm stuck in Folsom Prison Time keeps dragging on And I hear that lonesome whistle On down to San Antonio When I was just a baby Mama told me, son Always be a good boy, don't ever play with guns. But I shot a man in Reno. What is it? And I hear that lonesome whistle. I hang my head and cry. Come on, Mickey. Let's go. 
Come on, give it up. Well, if they freed me from this prison and that railroad train was mine, I'd move it a little farther, a little farther down the line, far away from Folsom Prison, where I want to stay. And I let that lonesome whistle just blow my blues away. Big finish now. Ladies and gentlemen, get your tickets for Saturday night, two weeks from tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Come on out to the George Trollinger Show. We got lots of surprises, lots of people going to be here. And uh, we, we got time for one more. What do you want to do? One more, do? George. Okay, we come do on. One, can we do one more? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, this is great. Man, oh, man, I'm sweating. I'm sweating like Kim Kardashian on Jeopardy. I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> How about a toast to all the moms out there and all the members of the United States military, families, first responders. Come on, hip, hip. Well, this is great. Thank you so much for making me a part of this wonderful evening. Macy Mack is going to come out here and really, really entertain and and uh i hope you're gonna be as nice to her as y'all have been to me because this has been a real treat for me you guys like rock and roll music yeah. should we play some rock and roll yeah. can i get an amen, amen. we're in c chris all right <laughs> That I want my jacket to play Roll over Beethoven Gotta hear it again today Well my temperature's rising And my jukebox is blowing a few My heart beat rhythm And my soul keep on singing the blues Roll over Beethoven Rocking in two by two Bring it down, bring it down now And if you feel like it, get your lover and you reel it, rock it, roll it over and move on up, just rise above it and reel it, rock it, roll it, oh, roll over Beethoven, need a shot of rhythm and blue. I 
I want to love you like a lover should You're fine Got to tell the world that you're mine, 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 mine To my nail, sweet of my thumb I get nervous but the show is funny Good love is fine I lost so one more time Thank you all very much. We're the Orange Blossom Opry Band. We're going to take just a
first time at the Orange Blossom Opry. Hope you all are having a great time. And uh, hope you come back and see us again uh, sometime right there. Uh, Kevin Kingston show. There's the Friday Night Live show. You want to come see that? I don't know what's going on next. George. Yeah, George Trillinger. Yeah, George was great, wasn't he? Yeah, he's got some guy that's coming with him named Tim, and uh, Tim does, uh, they all do these characters. Tim just does uh, Joe Cocker, and, and they, uh, George and Tim, this is the truth, they do the best Blues Brothers I've ever seen. And we've had some the guys that come in here and do the Blues Brothers. George and Tim blow those guys away. They're really, really, they got a great Blues Brother, and they do that on their show as well. So, uh, all right, do we get a drum roll? We're just going to start? What are we going to do? We all ready? Is she okay? Is she ready? Give us a little vamp, boys, and, and I'll give you an intro. Ladies and gentlemen, the Orange Blossom Opry in downtown Weirsdale, Florida, proudly presents, please welcome to the stage, the Mississippi hippie herself, ladies and gentlemen, Macy Mack.
Can everybody see me all right? Great. <laughs> I was just wondering. So, man, let's give a big round of applause once again to this amazing Orange Blossom Opera Band. I love these guys. And another big round of applause to Eli Rogers and George Trillinger. Man, what talent. Hard to follow. <laughs> Anyways, um, it is such a blessing to be here. Thank y'all all for coming out. It's amazing. So, and thank you to all who's watching too. So, once I say that, they click off. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I hope not. So, they're, they're in for a, a treat. So, um, a very feathered treat. <laughs> so. Well, we've got some cool tunes for y'all tonight. I've even got some originals on the set, so. I'm excited to play them, uh, some of them for the first time uh, here at the Opry, and some of them, one of them actually, first time on stage, which is really exciting. So, I'm looking forward to that, but let's roll on into some more music, shall we? We're gonna get real country now.
friends and family. And where's Dale, Florida? State of Thank y'all, thank y'all. Some Hank Williams Jr. for ya. Well, it is really great to be here. Like, this place truly is home uh, for me. Um, I've been playing here since I was uh, 13, 14. And guess what? I'm almost done with my teen years. As Doug likes to say, I'm in my 20th year. So even though I'm like, if people are, they're like, are you 10? Are you 35? And I'm like, no, not quite. I can hear it. Not quite. Um, so, and it's such a shame because I haven't grown neither. The only thing that has grown are my high heels, but you know, what can a girl do? So. But yes. And I'd also like to thank Roger and Heather and everybody behind the scenes as well. All of my friends, Nathan, Eddie, Karen, Chris. Uh, Y'all are wonderful. And Sean. Yes, and Sean. And uh, to obviously all of y'all. You know, I'm going to be thanking y'all all night, so I'll be here all night. Okay, we took that uh, long break so y'all can get out y'all's tissues. I forgot to mention, so if y'all, you know, might need them, I don't know. But this one, uh, I'm going to let Doug hit it off. Oh, gosh. <laughs>
don't suppose that I'll be missed by you. Thank you all. That number was written by uh, an amazing man that I didn't get to meet. He is my late cousin. Uh, his name's Johnny Russell. And what a guy, amazing songwriter. I really wish that I could have gotten to meet him, but I've heard plenty of stories. And yes, he was wonderful. And I've seen tons of performances too. Uh, but I wanted to mention that because now, if y'all don't know, um, I'm living in Nashville, which is weird because I was only a hop, skip, and a jump in Ocala. But now I'm living in Nashville. And it sure is something. I will tell you, it is songwriting central. And, you know, to kind of have a few family members well really ma mainly only Johnny uh, he was the only musical one out of the family until I decided to pop out um, <laughs> and so now I'm here and uh, now I'm in Nashville and songwriting central and praying one day that maybe I can write a song uh, just as good as he did um, in the past so and if y'all don't know he also wrote act naturally as well but Buck Owens, The Beatles, uh, May the List Go On. Several people have recorded it, and he's a legend, and to be related to him is pretty cool, even though he's my cousin, you know. <laughs> people are like, yeah, he's my cousin, she's my cousin, but literally, he, he is my cousin. <laughs> so, I'm serious. I'm not just saying that, so, yes. <laughs> to make sure I'm in tune. Especially for this next number because we're gonna be uh, rolling. <laughs>
Thank y'all, thank y'all. And I must say, y'all look pretty good in those sold out seats. Wow. How, how did, how did y'all all fit in this joint, huh? I don't get it. I mean, Doug takes up all the room being so tall and all. <laughs> Right, 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 right. If you don't mind. I'm going to hand this uh, Macy Size guitar to uh, a Doug sized uh, Doug. <laughs> I got one. Okay. He's already got a pick, ladies and gentlemen, a professional. <laughs> you trying to tell me I'm out of tune? I'm, in, I'm tuning, tuning into the Orange Blossom Opry. How could you tell me I'm not in tune? I'm kidding. Okay. All right. Well, before we start this song up, I'd like to say that since I have been living in Nashville, I've been songwriting, and this is a number that I wrote with a guy named Drew Bachman, and the song's called Another Lesson Learned, and I hope you all enjoy it. And thanks for playing with me, Doug. Let's do it. Emptied out my pockets, emptied out my heart, gave you all that I had. Another lesson learned Learn life can give Learn life can take Learning to forgive All my mistakes Takes time to know Every twist and turn Another lesson learned All that I can be It's gonna take time, time, time My heart can see The sun rise, rise, rise So thank you for the love And thank you, love, for the hurt Another lesson learned Trust there's a hand guiding my life. All I have to do is ask in the dead of night. Going through my journey, giving it my all. And I'm going to get up if I Another lesson learned Ooh, well, All that I can be It's gonna take time, time, time My heart can see
Thank you all. Why are you clapping at me? You need to clap uh, for you yourself. Wrote, you wrote a great song. Oh, well, thank you. Thank y'all. I think my teachers would be happy. <laughs> Get it? Another lesson learned. <laughs> oh. Well, dog, what'd you do with my pick? Oh, wait, I have a bracelet. That's what. <laughs> Who said, oh, boy? Oh, he's saying, oh, boy, at himself. That's a new one. He usually says that at me. <laughs> well. Thank y'all uh, for, you know, uh, liking my original. It's really very nice of y'all. Um, it's a new world for me. And I'm really enjoying it because I, I love uh, telling stories. For those of you that have, you know, unfortunately gotten the chance to meet, uh, me, for y'all to meet me, uh, I talk a lot, like I am now. So... <laughs> Uh, and to put all of the words that are in my mind onto a sheet of paper and to also write with other musicians uh, that are also got a lot to say as well, it's pretty darn cool because it makes you realize that we're, you know, more connected and more uh, related, not cousin-wise, but, you know, uh, <laughs> um, than we actually think. So, uh, yeah, a little less lonely. So, anyways, uh, we're going to do another number that I'm sure y'all are familiar with. It's a classic country tune, but with my own Macy Max spin on it, and uh, hope y'all like it. Hit it, Todd.
Thank y'all. Y'all clapping for the girl, because y'all better not be, because she's not woman enough. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. I tell you what, cheers, everybody. This is a great night. I heard that there was 25 people in line getting some liquor. This isn't liquor, I promise. Y'all can smell my breath over, over there if you want to really check. I'm just kidding. I'm still a good girl. <laughs> All the guys are like, no comment, no comment. They better not comment on that. Because I could say a few words about y'all. Because we all know boys, uh, wait, no, that's blondes. like to have more fun. I don't know. I think we all like to have a little fun, you know. It's okay to stir up a little bit of trouble every now and again. Ruffle some feathers. <laughs> all right. So for this next tune, I know that it's Mother's Day tomorrow, and... I want to dedicate this tune uh, to a few people. Um, I don't know if she's watching, but uh, Miss Elizabeth, uh, you know who you are. Um, I'll have to tell. She, he doesn't even know if I'm even doing this gig or not. So, But we'll have to send her this video after. This song's called The Story. It's by Brandy Carlisle. And I'd also like to dedicate it to Miss Elizabeth because she's the one that introduced it to me. And also to my memo because she loves it whenever I do this song. So... I love you, Mama. And all you mothers out there, thank y'all for all that you do. All of these lines across my face tell you the story of who I am. So many stories of where I've been and how I got to where I am. But these stories don't mean anything when you've got no one to tell.
Thank y'all. That's your, that's I cannot talk. Goodness gracious. No wonder I come from the South. I think they put everybody there that just can't talk well. <laughs> or you can't understand what they're saying. Good grief. That story, uh, song story, I guess, is uh, more short than my stories. So I, I like stories that uh, are songs that uh, can say what they're saying. And I can sing it so I don't have to talk it like I'm doing right now. Good grief. Sound like Charlie Brown up here. <laughs> All right. Well, here's a childhood's favorite. Who's shaking their head? I know somebody is out there. It's my mother. <laughs> Anyways, uh, here's a childhood favorite of mine. Uh, actually, I think this was one of the first songs that... I sang here at the Orange Blossom Opry, which is pretty amazing. Uh, one faithful jam night. So, and man, it is so cool to be standing here on the stage to uh, my own show, to all of y'all here selling it out. My goodness, gosh, insane. So thank y'all. I can't thank y'all enough. My goodness. So, but anyways, uh, I'm sure y'all like this tune too, especially the ladies. So, hit it. Sometimes it's hard to be a woman, giving all your love to just one man. You'll have bad times And he'll have good times Doing things that you just don't understand But if you love him, you'll forgive him Even though he's hard to understand And if you love him Oh, be proud of him Cause after all, he's just a man and I keep reaching, digging back in my pants. Oh, wait. <laughs> digging in my pockets. <laughs> oh, blessed up. <laughs> Ple <laughs> oh, bless Todd's heart. I, now I know why I looked away. <laughs> Now 
now know why most of the guys went off stage. Doug's used to my shenanigans. <laughs> Are you? Not quite. <laughs> I figured. Yes, you certainly do not know what to expect. But they do say, uh, little thing, wait, big things come in small packages. Surprising things. I don't know about big things, but surprising things for sure. Sometimes good, sometimes uh, cuckoo. <laughs> All right, well... Here's another favorite of mine. This is probably my grown up, because I actually haven't grown up, you know. So, this is probably one of my favorite grown up songs. Cheers. <laughs> I'm not 21 yet, but I am 19, so I have passed the 18 mark. But, here's one of my favorites, and, uh, I hope it becomes one of your favorites, too, if y'all just haven't heard this uh, legendary song, so. All right, I'm, I need to quit talking. Somebody get me some duct tape. All right, well, I sure got the feathers all right. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's do this.
And all that time spent preening. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh yeah, is that what you're talking about? I ain't following that. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. I just, I have no words. I let the feathers speak for themselves. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Well, like I said earlier, uh, Mother's Day is Sunday, but y'all already probably knew that. Uh, I mentioned my memo, and I mentioned uh, Miss Elizabeth because she just came to mind because she introduced me to that previous song. Well, not the one I just did. I, I knew that one, uh, the story. But uh, my Aunt Debbie's also in the audience. I love her. Uh, soon I'll be doing a song for you and dedicating it to you, and we know what song we're talking about. But... I did write you a long birthday card, so, and I, I make, uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, I like hand write, hand draw cards and stuff, um, so if Nashville doesn't work out, Hallmark, <laughs> you know where to find me. <laughs> uh, yes, but I love you, Aunt Debbie, and happy Mother's Day to you, and this next one is dedicated to my actual mother who does so much for me and I can't thank her enough and I love you so much and thank you for all that you do. So. <laughs> and uh, this next number is for you and I uh, hope you like it. So, it's also a new song. Y'all probably uh, have not heard it from me so first time singing it. Let's do this thing. I'm going to quit talking. Do you still get a thrill when you see me coming up the hill? Honey, now do you? Do you whisper my name just to bring Get it through when you say we're coming up the hill. Holding out. 
a little KT Oslin. And what a song for your uh, daughter to sing, huh? For her favorite song. But I also like the song too, Mama. Uh, and I know it pretty well because you played it quite a bit. <laughs> but that's all right. So. <laughs> oh my goodness. I get tickled by myself. <laughs> And it ain't just these feathers. <laughs> well, we're going to do a slow one for y'all. And it's quite a pretty one. I, I, I like this song. Oh, very fitting lights. Eddie knows exactly what he's doing. <laughs> That's my friend up there. We, we talk a whole bunch. <laughs> Y'all are like, yeah, I'm, I'm sure she does. And Eddie doesn't get most of the talking in. <laughs> All right. Well, Kevin. All you. I feel so bad. I got a worried mind. I'm so lonesome all the time Since I left my baby behind on oh, Blue Bayou Saving nickels, saving dimes Working till that sun don't shine Looking forward to Happy times on Blue Bayou. I'm going back someday. Come what may to Blue Bayou. Where the folks are fine and the world is fine on Blue Bayou. Where those fishing
Beautiful. Oh, gosh, there goes the feathers. <laughs> I'm going to put this one down, or this one. I'm going to put this down for a little bit because uh, we got a surprising number for y'all next. I'm molting, I'm molting. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, this next song is another original and uh, I wrote it with a couple of girls, which is pretty cool, girl power. Woo! So, <laughs> um, and the two ladies are named Ava Page and Becca Ray and the song's called Cut Out For Me and yeah, it's pretty cool that a couple of chicks wrote it. Since, you know, the world, it, it's a what kind of world? I like that answer. <laughs> As we both know, it's a man's world, and so us women, we have to try and stick out. So, and I think I'm, I, I think I'm doing an all right job. I don't see any of y'all wearing feathers. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> this number's called Cut Out For Me. I hope y'all like it. It's a rockin' one. And sorry again, Todd, because there's a lot of drums to it. And shout out to my producer, Adam. So, yes, let's do this thing. This is Cut Out For Me. I hope y'all like it. Kissed a boy and he kissed me back. Felt the skip a beat, weak in the knees, like every girl has. Let him hold my hand, run his fingers through my head. Just young enough to believe there was something real there. But it don't take long, true colors will show. Had to learn the hard way about mirrors and smoke. Great, golly. 
<laughs> I have no idea how they learned these songs in just the short amount of time. These guys really are brilliant, and I am so blessed to be standing here with yeah, them. Yeah. <laughs> we, just, we just played with our eyes closed. I should have known better to hype y'all up. <laughs> My goodness. Anyways, uh, I have no idea what time it is, but these guys are like, ah, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. But um, before I move further, I know that, you know, I was talking about Mother's Day. My sweet Aunt Debbie and Memo and Mother, um, they uh, set up the merchandise table over here. I helped a little bit. I tied some shirts. <laughs> I uh, tried to uh, participate, but you know. Oh, I... <laughs> Mr. Vanna White. <laughs> what, what can a guy say? So studly. <laughs> Anyways, but I, I helped tie in some shirts and everything, but honestly, uh, thank y'all for, you know, toughing it out. It takes an army, folks. It really does. And it not, not just in history class. I'm talking about like in real life. It's still going on. This right now is my army. <laughs> so y'all are my army. Yes. <laughs> but it's a good thing we're not going into battle because I would not be a, I'd be the first to go. <laughs> Anyways, but we've got some pretty snazzy shirts like Doug was modeling over here, and we've got some koozies and some posters and some pics and some hats and some all good things, all good things. But I'm not for sale. But I would go home with every single one of y'all if I could. So I could fit in y'all's pocket. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, uh, oh, yes, I am going to be over there. Since y'all can't take me home in your pockets, though, unfortunately, uh, I, ca I, can't, I can't get any shorter. Yes, we can take pictures, some memorabilia, absolutely. So, but if y'all want to come meet this and, you know, get your ears talked off, talked off, yeah. meet me over there, and I'd, I'd love to meet y'all and um, thank every single one of y'all, if I can. Oh, I've already done that how many times? But seriously, I can't thank y'all enough for being here. This is spectacular, and I hope to see y'all over there and say hello and tell you how much I love you. So, this next one is a Conway Twitty song, and oh, my mama wore out a few Conway Twitty songs. But I, I always love this one, and I hope y'all do too. This is only make-believe. People see us everywhere They think you really care But myself, I can't deceive I know it's only make me
someday you'll care My hopes, my dreams come true y'all I just want to clap along with y'all not for me I just want to you know join the audience y'all have the fun job <laughs> anyways so but thank y'all I appreciate it one moment she's back <laughs> how many of y'all would have guessed that I'm an only child <laughs> I've gotten pretty darn good at talking to myself. Or selves. Oh, wow. You thought you were another one. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Oh, goodness. Take me to the doctor out of the, after this. So, wait, what'd you say? Okay. Shh. Quiet down. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, but yes, I am an only child and it has been quite the adventure. And that's why I picked up music to feel, you know. Uh. Doug, what'd you do to this guitar? <laughs> oh, it is a test. Everything's a test with him, my, my goodness. It's a test with all men, don't fall for it, ladies. <laughs> oh. Learn from trial and error. Another lesson learned, what can I say? All right, well, these guys, they're uh, staring at me because they know that I'm kicking this one off. I, and I love it when I kick things off. Because I get to talk longer. <laughs> and thankfully tonight, not to myself. <laughs> Bust a flip in Baton Rouge, waiting for a train. The house feeling nearly as faded as my jeans. Bobby thumped the diesel down just before it rained. It rolled us all the way to New Orleans. I pulled my harpoon up. My dirty real bandana And I was playing soft While Bobby sang the blues I went to work her slept in time I was holding Bobby's hand in mine We sang every song that drive a new eye Freedom's just another world for another left to lose
Refreshing. <laughs> thank y'all, thank y'all. My goodness. <laughs> Who knew that calling your lover would be that much work? <laughs> and I thought calling my mom, and her yelling, Mama! From the other side of the house was hard. Whew. No, that was hard. Ow. <laughs> Well, folks, uh, it feels like, you know, the night has just uh, flown by. No pun intended. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I love this top. Uh, my mom was like, don't be talking about that top all the time you're on stage. And I'm like, well, I'm not used to wearing feathers on my chest. <laughs> I'm usually used to wearing them on my tail. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just want to thank all of y'all again for such a special night, and uh, it means a bunch to me. And thank you to the Opry Band, <laughs> Roger and Heather, and everybody behind the scenes. Y'all know who y'all are. I love y'all. I love you guys. Thank you for making me sound good. And... Uh, this next song, uh, which is our last song for the night. Uh, <laughs> I, so y'all don't, y'all want to hear me talk more? <laughs> I've only been told once that somebody likes listening to me. <laughs> Anyways, but this next song is very special to me too. Uh, 
I wrote it with this gentleman over here sitting on the steel all pretty, or like Bobby likes to call it on the throne. <sighs> I, need, I know I need, need to stop talking whenever Doug's head starts to get too big. <laughs> But I wrote this song with him and another gentleman that I'm friends with. His name's Jack Williams. And uh, some of y'all might have heard it if y'all came to my last previous shows. And it is such a beautiful song. And uh, it was amazing. And the co-write, because we were like, how are we going to not write a corny song? And I feel like that goes through every songwriter's mind. <laughs> but... Uh, Thankfully, this song came out, and um, to uh, most people, they say that it brings a tear to their eye. Uh, last show, it brought a few tears to my eye, and it had my mascara running, I tell you. But anyways, uh, I hope you all like this last song, and thank you all again for coming out, truly. Here's favorite part of me.
Betsy Mac. On behalf of everyone here at the Orange Blossom Ivory, good night, everybody. We hope you had a great time. Come back and see us again sometime. Good night, y'all. God bless you. <laughs>